This is breaking news from Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Heartbreak today in Boone County. These two Zionsville students, a 13-year-old and 15-year-old, killed. Police say it was their father who shot them and then turned the gun on himself. Police found the bodies of 50-year-old Michael Hun and his two teenage children inside the home on County Road 900 East earlier today. Rich and I joins us now from Boone County where he just spoke to the sheriff a couple of hours ago. And Rich, any indication of domestic violence in this family before today? Well, Jenny, the mother and father are divorced. They have separate households. But there is no uh, evidence, the sheriff says, of any domestic violence history uh, for this gentleman and certainly no incidents at this home. 15-year-old Harrison Hun and his 13-year-old sister Shelby did not come to school today, which first alerted their mother that something was wrong. The teens were staying with their father at his house on 900 East, just south of State Road 32. The mother called 911 when she could not contact the father or the children or get an answer at the door. Deputies entered the house and found 50-year-old Michael Hun dead from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. The children were found shot to death in their bedrooms. Is there evidence that the children were shot in their sleep? The evidence, uh, again, I don't want to compromise the investigation, but uh, there is evidence that would make me uh, believe that that is the case. The double murder-suicide investigation closed 900 East at 50 South and brought a large Boone County response team. We've got to dive into uh, the reason why this happened now, and that's the key issue. It may take us weeks. It may take us months to figure that out. Um, um, and during that time, um, the investigation will continue, and it's going to be important that we continue to pray for the family because they're going to need that closure. Uh, I'll be honest with you. We may never find out why this occurred. The sheriff says that the mother said she had no reason to believe that her children were in danger staying here with their father. Harrison was a student at Zionsville High School, his sister Shelby at the middle school. The school corporation says that grief counselors will be available again on Monday, and parents are encouraged to talk to their children about how they're processing this tragic event, especially if they knew the children involved here in this tragedy. John? All right, thank you. Rich Nye in Boone County tonight. And this is the second double murder-suicide we've reported on in central Indiana in just the past couple of days now. Tuesday morning, police say a man killed his estranged wife, her caregiver, and then himself in Greene County. Detectives say it was a result of a long-time domestic dispute.